Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a programmable over under voltage protector. This circuit can be used for 60 to 300 volts. With this circuit, we can protect our devices from being damaged by over or under voltage. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. After a few days, I have received the PCBs. Let's open up the parcel and look at the PCBs. So these are the PCBs. As you can see, the PCB quality is excellent. Silk screen, solder mask, everything is perfect. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. First, let's see how this circuit works. As you can see, the circuit has two relays. Relay 1 turns on and off without any delay and the relay 2 turns on and off after a set delay time. We can set delay time from 1 second to 99 seconds. We have connected to indicator lights as load for the protector. So currently the over voltage is set at 80 volts and the under voltage is set at 60 volts. The delay time is 0 second and the current supply voltage is 87 volts which is above the over voltage limit. That's for the relays are off. Let's set the over voltage, under voltage and the delay time. First press the menu button for a few seconds. Then press the up and down button to set the values for over voltage. To set under voltage, press the menu button again. Now you can set under voltage by pressing up and down button. Now by pressing the menu button again, we are able to set the delay time. And after pressing the menu button for one more time, all the values are saved. So as you can see, now the supply voltage are between over and under voltage limit. The relay 1 is on and the relay 2 will be on after the delay time. Now let's vary the supply voltage and see how this circuit works. Now let's see how this circuit works. The brain of this circuit is Atmega328 microcontroller and I have used a 16x2 LCD to display all the values. Two relays are used to switch on and off the load. The microcontroller and the LCD display works on 5 volt and the relays works on 12 volt. So the circuit uses a 12 volt to 5 volt buck regulator. The circuit uses push buttons to set the parameters of the circuit. And finally, the most important part, which is the voltage sensor. The voltage sensor reads the voltage and step down these voltage to the level that the ADC of microcontroller can handle. So the microcontroller reads the voltage value and perform two tasks 
The first one is to display the voltage to the LCD display and the second one is to check these voltages if they are between over and under voltage limits. If the voltage are between these limits then the relays will be turned on. I have made PCBs for this project. Now let's put all the components onto the PCB. So I have put all the components onto the PCB. Now let's upload the code to the microcontroller. We have made the program for the microcontroller using Arduino IDE. Now let's make the hex file. Now let's burn the code to the microcontroller. The programmer I'm gonna use is USB ISP and the software I'm gonna use is Prog ISP. First open the software and select the chip which is in our case is Atmega328. Now click on RD button. If you see this message read ID successful then we are good to go. Now click on load file and select the hex files. After that click on erase chip and then click on write flash. Now click on this button to set the fuse bits. Set low fuse bits to FE and high fuse bits to D9. Now click on right button. So the program is uploaded to the microcontroller. Now let's make the voltage sensor. These are the components we're gonna use to make the voltage sensor. First connect the transformer, after that connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to one secondary wire of the transformer. Now connect another diode and connect its anode to the anode of first diode and its cathode to other secondary wire of the transformer. Now connect another 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to cathode of first diode. Now connect another 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to cathode of second diode and its cathode to cathode of third diode. Now connect a 100 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to cathode of third and fourth diode and its negative pin to anode of first and second diode. Now connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to positive pin of the capacitor. Now connect a 10k trim pot and connect its one side pin to negative pin of the capacitor and its other side pin to remaining pin of 10k resistor and its center pin to A4 pin of the controller. So we have completed the voltage sensors. Now connect the load to the relays. First connect the line wire to common pin of both relays. 
Now connect an indicator light and connect its one wire to normally open pin of first relay and its other wire to neutral. Now connect another indicator light and connect its one pin to normally open pin of second relay and its other pin to neutral. So we have completed all the connections. So that's it for today's video. I hope you like this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.